Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another garden video. So today it is going to be an easy kind of day, not doing too much um, gardening. We're doing a lot of cleaning up. So as you can see, fall has started to fall in the south. It's still not too cold outside, but it is cold inside. I know I can control that, but you know, I'm not turning my heat on just put on more clothes so I'm outside we will see how long the sweatshirt stays on but all of my big trees have dropped their leaves in my last big rainstorm so I'm going to go ahead and clear them all out I'm going to see if I can um, my mom has a leaf mulcher where you can put the leaves in and it chops them up really fine so you can use them for composting or leaf mulch I'm gonna see if I can borrow that because I would really like to save a lot of these leaves for my raised beds next year as I put those together. But not sure how much time I have to dedicate to this project. So I'm going to start clearing them out of the immediate areas, the um, lawn and the bigger areas. I may wait for my yard guy to come do. We'll see. But in addition to the leaves, it is going to be our first freeze here shortly so we've got 10 15 ish days before that happens and i did finally find around beginning of november first of november um our stores down here our big box stores start getting fall plants in. they didn't even have pansies in october so i finally found a little six pack of the smaller kales that i was looking for so i am going to pop those in that way it doesn't get too much colder and they can uh settle in before that freeze hits. But those are the main two things I have on the agenda today is just to clean up. Of course, I will be weeding and pruning as I go around. I'm kind of just letting the annuals do their thing. So as they start to die back, I'm pulling them. Um, at the end of the season, I may go in and just do one big giant annual pull. But at the same time, sometimes I pull them in spring sometimes. This is only my second year of my garden. There's only been one other time. So I'm going to start with the leaf blower. Let's go. It should be going so much better than that. I love this little three tiered stand here, but it hits right under where most of the water from my gutters fall. So it's just not a good place to put anything. So obviously I'm nowhere close to done with the leaf blowing, but got the whole path done, which is always my first concern because I don't want it covered with leaves that trap moisture and will cause it to rot more than it will naturally. So I have to do the whole yard, collect all those leaves um, and the gardens. I'm not 100% sure how much of the gardens I need to clear out, like I said, Leaves are great mulch, but typically they need to be broken down a bit more. So I think I'm going to run and grab mom's uh, leaf chopper machine 
and then come back that way as I blow them towards, start making a pile up there, I'll make another one on that side and a third one down the way. As I make piles, I can push them through, process them, get them ready and not have to do it all at the end. So I'll be back. I am so close. I've got most of the leaves in this pile. You can see across the yard, all the leaves from over there are in the pile on that side. Um, so I'm hoping, hoping to be done with leaves soon. I did decide to go ahead and leave all the leaves in the garden beds for now. Um, we, we're not freezing, but we're getting colder at nights. And some of the things I planted in the last couple of weeks could use a little more insulation since I'm not going to compost this season. So we'll leave them for now. Maybe we'll leave them all season and clean them out in the spring. Not sure. I'm going to try to chop up a bunch of these leaves. That's why I'm putting them in piles. Um, I wasn't able to get mom's leaf chopper up or mabob the other day. So hopefully I'll be able to get it today. If not, we'll have to do that in another video, but all my batteries are dead. So inside to charge for me and Biddy. Biddy, you okay? You wanna go inside? Come on. She's sitting behind me whining like, why are we just standing? Let's blow some leaves or go in the house. There. All right, so I got mom's leaf mulcher. It's working great. I was super worried about it, but I have no idea where she got it. I will try to find out and let y'all know. You can see you put your bag or box or whatever you're gonna use to collect your leaves underneath. And then you set the leaves size on the side. So right here, I have it set to medium. I could have it set to coarse or dry leaves, but they're, I just put it to medium. I figured, there's lots of other stuff in here as well. That's a good setting. So then you turn it on. It's like, um, I don't even know, edger blade kind of things. I can't remember the net word, but you can see it, it chops them up pretty fine. Since it's on a slight hill, gets caught back here a little bit and I keep having to shake it but it's not it's not bad and after doing that much I've got about half the bag maybe full there we go so you can see it it chops them up pretty fine but then it does leave some big chunks so 
great for leaf mulch for my new raised beds, but I think I am, if I can find the time, will, and stamina um, to chop up all the leaves that are currently in the garden beds to make leaf mulch for those as well. It's best if you can leaf mulch and put it out in the fall so that it has time to break down before spring when I put out a new layer of compost. And then ideally, if I could run all over all of this with a lawnmower and mix this with grass clippings, leaf mulch with grass clippings is the best. If not, I'll put some um, blood meal on here to help the leaves break down. If you just put straight leaves, it can help retain too much water, not getting through the leaves into the soil. So there you go. Either way, I've got at least two thirds of the pile left, if not more, hard to judge. And all the leaves we blew down that away, although I'm not sure if my extension cord is gonna reach. I might have to go borrow a second one to get those done. So we're just gonna keep trekking. And then we'll see. At the very least, I'm just gonna do these two piles today and then call it good. Um, I might do the actual flower beds later. So I'm gonna go ahead and store these for now so that way in the spring, I can use the leaf mulch in the new raised beds. Let's keep working. All right, that's it. Leafed all the, leafed all the mulches, mulched all the leaves. <laughs> it was about maybe a bag and a half. I could have probably fit more in the first bag, but it's getting a little heavy and I had to take them all the way down to the shed for storage because the raised beds are going to be right in front of the shed next spring. So I'm gonna go ahead and go do all the leaves that we already put in a pile down here and then we'll be done for the day. But this is it. This is the process. This is all we're doing. So I will catch y'all in the next video. If I do the garden beds, I'll make sure to bring y'all along with me. But for now, I'm going to finish and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.